guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Banjo Kazooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. The last time, I got my butt kicked several times in Freeze Easy Peak, and when I came back to the level after dying, I realized that I had to recollect the stupid presents and re-kill those bastard snowmen, so I went ahead and did that. And now we're gonna finish what we started last episode by getting the uh, jiggy on uh, top of Mr. Snowman's hat. And then turn the presents in. And then we got plenty of other stuff to do too. So let's get up here. Kill you. You're taking my jiggy. And you're tougher than the other ones. Oh, you're a lot tougher. Even your little guys take two hits. Or maybe not. Alright. Get some notes without falling off here. Because we all know how good I am at falling off of stuff. Stay. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. We did it. Alright. I don't think there's anything on the brim of this guy's hat. Except for that hole. Which takes us to a flight pad. So let's do that real quick. Let's see. We can go this way for the presents. Without ramming into the... Snowman. Wall. Whatever. Something. Alright, let's give these guys some presents. Let's see, blue goes to... I'm assuming you. Wow, thank you, brown bear. Okay. Cool, another present. Yippee, now we've all got presents. Here's something for you. Where the heck, where the heck do these side characters get these things anyways? Does Gratilda just like throw a bunch of them into the level and they're just like, oh cool, we'll just hang on to these until someone does something nice for us. Same like, same like in Super Mario 64. Where the heck do, where does it, where the heck do everyone get those stupid stars from? Just like, tossing the level and it's a free for all and then gotta help the ones that have them or something? Anyways, let's see, what else we gotta get in this place? Let's see, view totals. Oh, we've got six jiggies already, and almost all the notes, and half of the honeycomb pieces, and a whole bunch of memo tokens. And we've been here for quite some time, actually, what do you know? Alright. I don't think we can do too much else as Banjo and Kazooie, so let us go transform with the power of transforming. Because we go over here, and this is where Papa Bear decides to hang out. Hello again. I'm waiting for someone to race me. Go we'll race you, numb butt. Sorry, you're you're too big for my sled. I can only race someone small. What? So your big fat ass can get on that thing? Cause you're like twice my size. But you can't pop up another big size sled for us. Yeah, you'll turn. Anyways, let's go over here. More health from the snowmen. Ah, I'm gonna die. There's a bunch of jiggies. Not jiggies. Notes we're gonna get. Let me take... Ah. Alright, as I was saying. Let me take a look around real quick. Let's see. There's a flight pad right there. And I do believe there's a... I got a mumble token from over here somewhere. I think it was just right above the flight pad. I don't remember, but I think it was right there. Um, Snowman, I don't think we have too much more to do on you. If anything else at all, actually. Let's see. That Waller's right there. We'll get his Jiggy soon. There's gonna be a Jiggy from the Bear. Um, a Jiggy from the Jinjo. And a 
jiggy from somewhere else. And then also a honeycomb piece that we have to find. Um, let's see, so that's three of the honey of the jiggies left that I know of. And I'm not sure of jiggy number four. Huh. I am not too sure. And I think what you're supposed to do is actually like fly over there so you don't take a uh, ice cube damage or whatever. But you know what? Whatever. I'll live. I got enough health, barely, to survive. And yeah, there's your boots to get out. And there was a gold feather up there, I think. Come on. Oh, not a gold feather. A banjo token. Eh, forget it. It's an extra life, I don't care. Whatever. Alright, what do we got in here, big guy? Ooh, a Jinjo. How you doing, buddy? One more. An orange guy. And a bunch of notes. And 15 for our transformation. Alright, let's make sure we're not missing anything. Nope, we got everything. Alright, what do you got for me this time, buddy? I'm sure you figured it out, viewers, but... In case you haven't... We get a... Little mini walrus. Bedro got all fat. Got big teeth. Her. 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 Uh, cracks me up. And you'd think that he'd be able to freaking beat people with these giant fangs he's got. Because if you ever seen walrus like fight, they're dangerous little bastards. But, nope, we can't attack in this form. But, we can go in water. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this guy can actually swim in the water. Pretty well, actually. We never got a chance to check it out with the crocodile, because there was no deep water in his level. But I think there's some deep water in here. Or maybe, maybe he doesn't swim, maybe he just sinks like everyone else. Either way, we'll figure it out. Yeah, there's all 100 notes. That was easy. Alright. Okay. See more feathers. We don't need that. We need to go over there for the last Jinjo, I think. I know the Jinjo's in the water somewhere. Let's see, where are you at, Mr. Jinjo? Oh, there's a mobile token. Might as well grab you. Let's see, where is the... Jinjo? Oh, Mr. Jinjo! Where are you? So I can't find you. Are you over there? I guess not. Alright, where's this little bastard? There's another mobile token. Which I didn't realize was there, obviously. Alright, let's see if we can't get a good view of the area. And look around. Let's see. I thought it was right there. But I guess not. Yeah. Oh well. We'll find it eventually, I guess. But let's head over here. And he is one fat little walrus. He's little, but chubby. And this guy's still happy to see a fellow walrus. He gives us his treasure. Wow, another walrus. Take this. Watch out for a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. Cool. Okay. I will do that. And I think you can follow him in. I think that might be where the uh, last G that I couldn't figure out was in. 
this is gonna be the end of the race course right here, obviously. But let's go see what uh, Mr. Walrus has in store for us. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Look around. And what do you know? There's the last Jinjo. Why, hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around Waza's cave. Waza? That's a pretty cool little name. Waza. Kind of like Waka from Final Fantasy X, except Waza was here before. And there's something down here, apparently. What is this? The extra honeycomb piece, what do you know? Very nice. And I don't think you could Yeah, you can't you can't do anything about that. But there's both funny cool pieces. So we are on a roll. And an extra life. What's the point of putting this guy here if you can't attack him? I guess just to be a douche. Alrighty, that's good because I had totally forgotten where the extra honeycomb was. I thought there might have been a jiggy back here. But now, we just have to solve the mystery of where that final jiggy that I can't remember is. Okay, Mr. Walrus, let's go over here. No, not over there. Over... Wherever the heck, wherever the heck that stupid... Oh, it's behind you. Okay. Now, how do I get up there? How do I get up there? Maybe there's a way to come in from the outside? That's probably what it is. Oh, maybe you have to run in here with Banjo and Kazooie. And we'll try it in a little bit. But first... Where are we? Okay, um... Nothing else up there. We got everything. I think. Um... All right, let's go race that fat bear. I wish there was deeper water so I could see if this guy can swim or not. But I guess it doesn't matter that much. All right, that's the way to the kids. So over here then. Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy a race? Hop on the sled if you do. Yes, sir. Come on, Tubby. There we go. Great. Now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red sl slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? Three, two, one. Huzzah! All right. Oh, and you can jump. Neato. Neat. Oh. Oh, I think you get a... I know you... Yeah, I think. This guy's trying to push me off the edge. I think you might get two jiggies from this. One for beating him the first time, and... One for beating him the second time. You have that? Or you just gotta beat him. So I think you gotta beat him twice. Either that or you gotta beat the walrus. I do know there's more than one race. Fatty? I hurt you. Chubby bear. Okay, you're like twice my size. How are you faster than me? 
There we go. Alright, got it. Phew, you're too quick for me, Mr. Walrus. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race someone my own size. Alright, very nice. Alright, so we get one more from the Jiggy. And... Anything else, bud? No? So maybe you do have to race him as Banjo. Alright, let's go back to being Mr. Bear and Bird. And then try to sneak back into the walrus's house, and then try to go and uh, race him again as Banjo and Kazooie. So I think that's where the, uh... I think that's where the second, uh... Not second, but the last Jiggy's gonna be at. I wish they did more of the transformations, I mean... Sure, it's fun being a walrus and a crocodile, but it kind of sucks being a walrus and a termite and stuff, when you can't even attack the enemies, and you can only go about five feet out of the world. I don't know. That's why I like the crocodile, you can do a little more with them. You can attack stuff and eat stuff. I think the only reason they made it so you can attack stuff is so you can do that mini game with them. Other than that, I don't think they would have given the ability to uh, attack. Alright, let's try these again. Let's go chicken legs. And yeah, this protects you from the icy cold waters too. It's not just... Damn, that was short. Okay, yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute there, Mr. Uh, polar Bear. And why are you out racing when you should be getting presents for your kids? I mean, you did kind of, you did kind of tell them that you're gonna get them Christmas presents or whatever. And instead, you're out here gambling away your fortune. Or maybe not your fortune, but stuff that is seen as gold. All right, uh, where's that walrus hunt? There we are. And we're down for the count. And I don't think he's going to be too happy to see us, but you know what? We got to do what we got to do. Eek, the bear again. Take that noisy orange thing with you and leave poor Waza alone. I'm not gonna hurt you, you fat turd. I just want your goods. And there is another stop and swap item that you normally cannot get unless you have a Banjo Tui save. A key. Now bear in mind, I have, I have absolutely no idea what these do in Banjo Tui. I just know you need to enter a cheat code to get them in Banjo Kazooie. Cool, an enormous ice key. We should keep this stop and swap item for later. An ice key, okay. But I'll put the code for getting that item. Um, ow. I'll put the code for getting that item using the treasure trove cove uh, code enter thingy at the end the uh, in the description for the video. Alright, I'm pretty sure you have... I'm pretty sure there's nothing else to do except race that bear one more time, so let's go... Let's go race him real quick. That should be the last of it in here, I think. And there's no point, uh... There's no point keeping your walrus form outside of, uh... This world, because I don't think there's anything you can do with them. 
if I'm wrong, I'll figure it out and let you guys know later. But I'm pretty sure there's nothing else you can do. Hey, buddy. Fancy a race against the buggy? Press A to accept or B to check it out. Okay. Okay, buddy, here's the rules. Run through the red salon gates and try to beat me to the end. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, um... I don't think you can beat him right now. This is too easy, I'm giving up. Yeah, I forgot you can't beat him. That better not account as a loss. Come on, buddy. Try again. Press A to race or B to back out. I'm gonna back out because we cannot get this yet. Because the reason why is... You remember those shoes that you saw right there? Um, you have to have the ability to use those shoes in order to run this race. So... We are SOL right now. So that is all we can do in this level for right now. So we're not gonna have our final... Our final jiggy for this world until... I think it's the next world. That kinda sucks. But... Oh well, it happens. And I thought there was a health thing over here. Alright, let's head out. And unless I'm mistaken... Yeah, that guy's there. That little bastard. Um... Ouch. I don't think you can, uh... I don't think you can beat him yet. Actually, I'll show you why. Hang on. Actually, I'll just tell you why. Um... On top of the snowman, uh, not the snowman, but the uh, top of the level, there. You remember those holes that we went into at the beginning of the uh, in the beginning of the area, or not the beginning of the area, but the outside of the area, and it had that switch. Um, that'll activate a flight pad right here, but you need those super speed shoes to get there, and we don't have the super speed shoes, so we can't. So we can activate the flight pad but it's going to disappear after a few seconds, so we're not going to be able to get to use the flight pad. So it's kind of pointless right now. There, we can't do anything about it. So, now we got to figure out where the, uh, where the next level is. Let's see. And I think I know where it's at, actually. And I think we need to go back up here. So I think there's a note door over here we can get to now. Then we have more notes. I think it might be this one. 350. Alright, we can do this. And now we enter Grunty's Maw. And it is all flamey and volcano -y and stuff in here, and if you fall down, you die, and so let's be careful and not die. Gobi's Valley. Come on. A desert level. Very nice. And I think that actually opens up, uh... No, it doesn't show it. No, we'll, we'll see if we'll see when we get back there, I guess. So there's a few things over here, but not a whole lot we can do right now, I don't think. Uh, not gonna bother with that yet. But there's a uh, there's Grunty's happy sister. We're not happy, but good. And of course we can't fit in there, so don't even bother trying. Alright, what do you gotta say, lady? Revolting Gruntilda's bedroom has smelly socks hanging from the ceiling. Eh, 
I've known guys to have socks hanging from their ceiling fan, so it's not really that much different. She also has a Veruca plant growing in a pot besides her bed. Filthy old bag. What is the Veruca plant? I'm gonna have to look that up on Wikipedia or something. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous spotty purple undies. Okay. Poor dears, energy is low. Thank you, lady. Alright. Ah! That's not what I was trying to do. Ah, the death of me. Alright. If you think I'm rather soft, I'll be... Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if there's anything you can do over here yet, but might as well check. This is a pretty cool level over here, actually. But, like I said, I don't think we can open it up yet. Let's see, eggs. Feathers. Not a lot you can do in here. That's gonna be the entrance to the world, but you can't get in there yet, obviously, because we don't have the, uh, the picture to fill the blanks. And I'm pretty sure there she is. All right. Did you know Warp Bags keeps a woogie-filled hanky in her pocket for luck? Yeah. I've also seen my sister cuddling a huge, sweaty baboon in bed at night. Okay, people have their fetishes, so I'm not going to say anything. She's really proud of her broomstick. It's a top-of-the-range Rough Rider Deluxe. Heh. I thought her broomstick was like a Ultra Lifter or something like that. Yeah, maybe not. And we can't go down here yet. Oh, apparently we can. What do you know? I prove myself wrong, even as we prove myself wrong. Extra life. I'll take that. And I don't think there's anything else we can do in here. Yep, there's nothing else we can do in here. So our next destination is going to be Gobi Swamp. But I just want to check something before I call this episode quits, because we're going to start it next episode. Stupid camera keeps changing randomly. Let's see. We got everything in here. Temporarily, at least. Uh, let's see. There's the warp. Okay, not what I was not what I was thinking of yet. But the easy way to get in there is gonna be here with the uh the boots. But we're going to do that next time. So, guys, thank you for watching. And next time, we will enter Gobi's Valley. And we will have some collectathon to do. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.